what's up y'all uh, if you have clicked on this video just because of the title well I'm here to prove my theory and the theory is that I know a better predictor of spring than the groundhog right uh, I much rather deal with nature than deal with some some men with some little funny old hats on with a a little groundhog in a box inside somewhere or in a little closed environment oh I saw a shadow oh he didn't see a shadow uh, if there was a shadow to be seen he probably saw it if somebody stood here and cast a shadow I mean the little thing's gonna run uh, like a little scared rabbit or something right uh, but all of that is is fallacy I think that's a part of entertainment in this country that we've actually allow people to make try to make money off of any little gimmick any little niche or, or I don't know any little crazy idea uh, but there's something called wisdom or, or old wives tales and uh, things like that those things come from experience or nature so let's get into this I talked about it last year on the channel and I'm going to talk about it this year because one thing I realized is more people is watching our channel this year than last year, right? Or at least if not more people, different people. So if somebody has stopped watching or somebody else new has started watching, so I need to share this information every year because you're trying to get ready for, for spring. You don't know when to plant. It's warm. Here in Louisiana, we had good weather man it been in like the 70s even though it been raining it hasn't been no sunshine but it's been warm for like i don't know since january which is crazy but we get these one two day cold snaps one two day cold snaps you can't plant anything you plant anything it's gonna die uh the thing about it though the weather has tricked the trees into all the trees are blooming like crazy so even the fruit trees are blooming again and so now today it's like 30 degrees out here which is crazy so if you have like uh, those cold not so cold tolerant plants then last night would have been a night where you lost them all right and then I think Wednesday is gonna be back at 70 degrees but there's one tree that doesn't get tricked I've watched it for years I've never seen it get tricked yet uh, and it y'all can see that that's a pecan tree crazy thing about a pecan tree is it doesn't put on leaves it doesn't wake up until spring at least here what I found here in Louisiana now I want people to uh, Anywhere you live that, that they grow pecan trees, I want y'all to go and find one right around and tell me whether or not that pecan tree has leaves on it and whether or not it's spring in your area, right? Whether, whether or not you're still getting snows and that pecan tree has leaves on it or whether or not you're still getting those 20 degree freezes and that pecan tree has leaves on it. And show me that and prove that to me and then maybe my theory is not so perfect but here in Louisiana I found this theory to be perfect I don't I don't find any like you know how some of your fruit trees you got the early this the early peach or the early apple and all of that I haven't found it with a pecan tree for some reason this pecan tree my neighbor has one and all of our other trees I'll show you one second Let me show you this. All of our other trees, even this little tree right here, is starting to put on new leaves. Let me show you all the way to the back. Look at all those leaves on all those trees. But now, look at that one. Can you see that? That's crazy, right? Even in the distance, all those trees, even this tree over here, that tree has leaves like those new baby leaves all on it they are kind of deciduous but look at that isn't that crazy all right so am i right or am i wrong 
if you live in Louisiana, you've probably heard, there's two things you've heard. Oh, you may have never heard even. There's one thing you've heard, I know, I know. And that is, we don't plant here until Easter, right? Uh, Good Friday, you can start getting ready to put your stuff in the ground. And then after Easter, that's when it should be safe to plant. But I've found that this pecan tree is a really, really good predictor of, of when you're going to get that last major frost. I'm not just talking about a little small, little drop in temperature or cold, you know, a little cold front. I'm talking about that plant, that plant killing uh, frost it is what this tree predicts. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. As always, grow, grow, grow. Peace. Love you.